tuska siis etenee ja olo vaan pahenee. Nyt on niin tää sunnuntai ja kolmas päivä menossa. Se ei haittaa, sillä kohta tulee yksi meikäläisen suosikkipändeistä, eli Nile. being in Helsinki so far? Oh, it's gorgeous here. It's a great day. It's full of awesome metal people. Have what you, a place to be. Have you uh, played Tuska before? Yes, a couple years ago. In fact, we played on this uh, exact same stage right over here. What were your thoughts about the Finnish crowd? Oh man, what an awesome pit. I think that was one of the best mosh pits I've ever seen. Nile has a bit of a, an Egyptian theme to, to all of its music, so do you ever feel compelled to write things with, without that theme? No, I, I don't feel compelled at all. No. I can wake up in the morning and, and know what I'm going to do. Yeah, it's like uh, my entire wardrobe is black shirts and <laughs> camo shorts. I've got a closet full of black shirts and camo shorts. So when I go to like decide what I'm gonna wear, it's an easy decision. We have a plethora, a cornucopia of musical choices in the year 2010. So I'm not worried. I mean, if somebody picks up a Nile album, you know, they have a reasonable expectation of what it's gonna sound like. Mm -hmm. And I think that's good. That's, you know, you know, like Budweiser beer, you know what it tastes like. Okay. So word on the street is that you used to live with David Vincent? <laughs> uh, well, I stayed at the Morbid Angel House uh, in Charlotte for, I guess, two months. Um, so I was doing a classical gig with a friend of his. So since they had this huge, huge, <laughs> big, evil yellow house with plenty of rooms, they let me stay there and, uh, oh my god. Uh, the best story is probably, at that point in time, everybody in Morbid Angel had their own room. Like, uh, David had the master bedroom upstairs, and uh, then was Richard Brunel had a room next to that, and then they let me have the room next to Richard, and then the big room on the other side of the upstairs was Wayne Hartzell. Everybody had these huge, huge, like 200 watt stereos with massive speakers. So every day there was a stereo war. Who could play their metal the loudest? Yeah, yeah. So the neighbors loved you guys? Uh, the neighbors really just didn't mind. I mean, it was kind of a bad section of town. Yeah, so kind of anything went. Nice. What's next for Nile? Next, uh, well, we're gonna play a rockin' set here at Tuska. Okay. Then uh, we get to go home. Wow, that's gonna be awesome. <laughs> uh, then we have an American tour coming up in November. Okay. And another European tour in the works for February 2011. Wow. wow. Thank you very much. Well, it was great to meet also. you. Enjoy the beautiful weather and have a kick-ass set. Thank you. Thanks. Meidän krapulainen kuvaustiimi yhtyi tästä krapulaisen Juri Sallisen Torture Killer yhtyöstä. Ilmeisesti eilinen keikka meni aika hyvin vai miten? Kyllä kyllä. Vitusti oli jengiä ja saatana kuva meni. Koko melkein keikaa ja oli yleisellä 
käpälät yhdessä ja mospittipyöri ja kometalle. Miten, oletko itse ehtinyt täällä bändää katella yhtään nyt vielä? Opitori ainakin ja vähän Devin Townsend ja Growbaari tuli katsottu ja Bloodbathi tietysti teille kanssa. Ja tänään tarvitsisi vielä varmaan Kanepa Korpsa ja Nile ja Megadetti tsekata vielä. Miten tuota, ootteko Syversille jo kirjoittamassa jatkoja? Onko milloin levyä, uutta levyä tulossa? No viitisen, kuutisen biisi on jo demotettu sillä että syksyllä talvella joskus tossa pitäisi mennä studio tekee uutta lettyä. Ja mitä mä oon kuullut niitä biisejä, niin ainakaan vielä ei ole mitään hirveä eeppisiä melodiakohtia tullut vastaan, että aika semmoista junttaa tulee. Joo, kerro tuossa meille, että ootte lähdössä Valtian kiertoille Kannibal Korpsen kanssa elokuun puolivälissä. Miltä tällainen tilaisuus tuntuu? Aika vitu semmoisen pikkupojan unelmalle sillä. Kuunnellut sitä bändiä kuitenkin ihan teinivuosista asti, niin vähän munavaadossa mennään sinne kuitenkin. Miten aiotko haastaa Korpse Grinderin painimatsiin tuossa kertoaikana? En mä oikein usko, mä luulen, että siihen... se varo vierähtäisi kerran mun yli ja mulla olisi kylkilut paskaneet. Runttaus sen kun jatkuu. Me ollaan täällä tuskassa panostettu kovasti näihin All star kokoopanoihin Ja ei kahta ilman kolmatta. Eli nyt on vuorossa tämän festarin todellinen tähtikentälle. Yesterday, Bloodbath played Tuska and destroyed the tent that they played in. Uh, how was the set for you? The set was perfect. Uh, I think uh, we were playing in a small tent, which was uh, it was a good thing for us because we uh, we had this huge audience coming in. It was packed. It was sweaty, which we like. So it's all about death metal. Uh, how did you guys pick, uh, choose your songs for the set list? Because every single song, all the kids went crazy. So how did you guys pare down the songs that you were going to play and choose the right ones? Uh, we had a meeting with, with the guys in the band and just everybody had their say. So Michael want to do these tracks and I want to play these tracks. And so we, we just had a good time deciding which tracks we want to play. So um, this is a side project for everyone uh, in in the entire band. Everyone else, you know, has has Catatonia and Opeth and other bands. How does your practice schedule work for Bloodbath? How often do you guys get together and play before a big festival? Uh, we we don't get together that often, but um, for these uh, festivals that we have lined up this summer, we actually did some rehearsing because uh, the songs from the new album. Uh, we have never played before. We actually had, I think, four rehearsals, and um, I think that's enough. Yeah, it's just death metal. Do you think that ever, in looking to the future of Bloodbath, that there will ever be a full Bloodbath tour? I can say when I was talking to uh, Martin Axe, the drummer, last night, he was a bit drunk, but he he really looked forward to a to a tour. I think the the person that does not want to do a tour is Michael, the, the vocalist. Because everybody else, I think, would be up for it. Yeah, his schedule is probably yeah. way more rough with Opa. Fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> He's just a statue. <laughs> What's next for Bloodbath? Next is we're going to play on uh, Bloodstock in the UK, which makes a good Bloodbath at Bloodstock. Ah, clever. Yes. I hope to see a lot of blood. Yeah. Y you guys didn't wear blood yesterday on stage. No, we didn't. No. Why? Uh, because uh, on on this set of festivals, we decided to go for a more uh, casual death metal fan look okay. instead of the slaughter look. Okay. So we we wear our old death metal T-shirts, and that's all, you know. But hopefully Bloodstock, which is the last gig on this uh, festival track that we're doing, something might happen. I hope so. Yeah, the name thing would work out. Yes. And it kind of requires blood. Pig's blood. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you. an awesome set yesterday. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Yes. Nyt taitaa olla tämä leikki meidän osalta loppu. 
bändit jatkaa vielä ehkä muutaman tunnin ja illan kliimaksena tietenkin mekaadet. Sen jälkeen on aika meidänkin palata takaisin harmaaseen arkeen, joka on onneksi hieman kevyempää hommaa kuin tämä.